Let's balance the equation for the decomposition of LiNO3. That's lithium nitrate. It's decomposing into lithium nitrite and oxygen. We'll also look at the type of reaction. So if we start out with the type of reaction, we have this one compound here. It's breaking apart into two separate compounds. We call that a decomposition reaction. You could also call this a redox reaction because the oxidation numbers on the nitrogen and the oxygen, they're changing state as well. Let's count the atoms up. One lithium, one nitrogen, and three oxygens in the reactants. Product side, one lithium, one nitrogen, and two oxygens. But don't forget these two. We need to add those in for total oxygen atoms. Let's try to get this number here to an even number. That's usually a pretty good strategy. So if we do that, we'll put a two here one times two. That'll give us two lithiums, one times two, two of these nitrogens, and two times three, and the two times the three there. That'll give us six oxygen atoms. We really now have to put a two in front of the lithium nitrite here to balance the lithium and the nitrogen. We'll see what happens with the oxygen. We'll need to update that. So we have two times one, that'll give us two, two times the one nitrogen there, that gives us two. And then we have two times two, that's four, plus we have the two here. And that works out really nicely because now this equation is balanced. If we wanted to write the states, that would look like this. So in order for this reaction to happen, if you want to break down lithium nitrite, you've got to heat it up to about 500 degrees Celsius. When you do that, then you can have this decomposition reaction taking place. But just at room temperature, it won't decompose into the lithium nitrite and oxygen gas. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for LiNO3 yields LiNO2 plus O2. Thanks for watching.